guys welcome back to the channel train duke here back with another episode of jewel talk and today we're going to be talking about enjoying the time that you have with your Conny corso you know we all love our dogs we all raise them up and you know we wish we could have them forever but you know just like us you know we have they have a, a finite amount of time uh, on this earth and um that's something i want to talk to you guys about because you know, once you get to that stage where you have to go through those things or something happens or maybe they get sick or you have to put them down, you don't wanna see them struggling, um, that is a very tough situation to deal with, right? I look at Duke, you know, he is a member of my family, right? I love him and uh, I don't wanna see anything happen to him, but I know eventually, you know, it's gonna to come to that. Uh, but I don't focus so much on the end date and what things can happen. I try to focus on the day-to-day -day experiences, the joys that we have, the learning opportunities, the lessons, things I learn from him, things he learns from me. And I like to, you know, focus on that stuff. Um, and it really, it really helps, you know. Um, we all, you know, and it's, it's not specific to just Connie Corsos. I know our page is, is centered around a Connie Corso. Duke is a Connie Corso, but your dog in general, you know, I just want to encourage you guys to just really enjoy the time that you have with them, right? They're blessings, right? All dogs imprint on your heart uh, and your life in very unique ways. They're all unique in their own right. And I know you guys have a lot of uh, experiences maybe with your your current dog, or if, you know, if you got a Connie Corso or previous dogs. And if you do, you know, want to share some of those experiences or just your love for uh, your pup, your dog, then uh, please do that in the comment. Um, I'll read your comments, I'll respond back, uh, all that good stuff, because I do like to hear the, the good stories, you know. Uh, just getting back to it, though, uh, me, you know, with Duke every day, we try to do a little bit, you know, I sometimes get a little busy, but uh, I try to make sure I still focus in with him and, you know, give him some love and stuff like that, and focus on stuff that he needs, and uh, I take care of him, and in turn, he takes, uh, takes good care of me. You know, Duke is very protective. Uh, he is, you know, by breed a guard dog, and he does that job well. But he's also a big baby <laughs> at times, and he'll come plop and sit on my lap, and that's one of the things that I enjoy. Um, although, you know, he's getting heavier and heavier, and uh, you know how that can be. But I still enjoy it when he comes. He wants to love on me, and that's something that um, you know I'll probably never forget. You know, rather it's 10 years from now, rather he's still here or not. Um, that's always something that's going to be, you know, on the back of, you know, in my mind when I think about Duke. But um, I'm not going to make this one too long. I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, love on your pup, teach them, you know, don't set them up for failure and enjoy that time with your dog. Um, it's so important. Uh, they have a special place in our hearts. And, uh, you know, I love the big guy. So if you guys enjoy the Drew Talk, see, uh, this Drill Talk episode, uh, I encourage you to check out the Drill Talk series. I'll throw it up here on the screen. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. The channel is growing, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, check out the other videos on the channel because that helps uh, with us. And um, I appreciate your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.